everyone, welcome back and this is another episode of business analysts getting to know some things of future trends or something technical. So today we'll be looking at data swamps. So if you haven't heard what a data swamp is, then this is the video for you. So let's get into it. So in a data lake, a data swamp exists as a result of enormous amount of data. It can either be structured, semi-structured or unstructured being dumped and not being managed or organized. So this happens only in a data lake. Now, if you have no idea what a data lake is, I've taken videos on what a data lake is. How is it different from a data warehouse, a data mart? So I'll provide the link in the description box and you can take a look at it. But to just give you a gist, data lake overcame the drawback of a data warehouse. So a data warehouse can only manage structured data. Whereas to manage unstructured data is where the data lake came into picture where it can manage structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. So if you want to know more about it, then you can view the video. So when all this data has been loaded into the data lake, it's being dumped. So it just doesn't mean that you can go and dump data into the data lake and not do anything about it. So when you go and just dump data and you don't manage it or organize it, it's going to be a total mess, which is nothing but a data swamp. So as a result, what happens? the data becomes invaluable to its intended consumers because of its low data quality, poor data governance, management and more. Okay, so we store data for data to be valuable to the organization. But just by overloading, dumping and not store, uh, managing that data, it's going to be of total no use. It's going to be no use to the organization or to the consumers of that data. So this is about data swamp. So by having this data swamp, what happens? Though you have a data lake, you're not able to make use of the data that is in it, okay, because of data swamps. So it's very difficult to access the right data at the right time. As I said, though you have that data, getting the right data at the right time is going to be a problem. Also, having so much of data doesn't make any sense because half of the data becomes stale and irrelevant and unreliable. You cannot use that data for anything, for whatever purpose, for analytics, for decision making and stuff like that. So these are the problems that organizations face when data swamps arise in data lakes. So looking out for data swamps. So these are certain, um, I can say, symptoms that organizations can look out for. Where if, if at all they have a data lake, then if they find that these are occurring, then there is a possibility that they might land up with a data swamp. So the first one is lack of a committed team to manage the data lake. So if you there's no use of just, you know, having a data lake when no one wants to manage it. So there needs to be a dedicated team managing that data lake. And if that's not there, then that's something you need to get onto as quick as possible. The next one is large amount of data, but poor organization. So it's like a really untidy room. You can have anything in that room, but if it's not going to be tidy, it's going to be a mess again. And no metadata for data assets. So metadata is another key um, concept that you need to know because it has a very important role to play, especially in cases like this. So only when you have metadata, you would be able to track assets, you would be able to retrieve assets, you would be able to organize assets and much more. So if you don't have metadata for assets, it's another problem. Okay, so you can take metadata like for example, like a tag, for example, going into a library and having all the books just placed over there is going to be really hard if you want to just go and get a science book. But imagine having racks and then having a label there saying that this is science it's going to be more easy to go and retrieve the book because it's well organized. So you can just think of metadata, but of course I've taken videos on what metadata are. You can again refer to the link that I'm providing in the description box. And the next one is irregular data cleanup cycles. So it's again compared to a room, an untidy room. The room needs to be cleaned up now and then because you keep getting things into the room, but now and then things become unwanted. It might be outdated things might have gone really bad. So you need to do a frequent cleanup. So if this is not happening, again, it can lead to a data swamp in your data lake. And the last one is dumping all and any type of data. So just because you have a data lake, as I said, doesn't mean you just go and dump anything. Take for instance, your own room. 
just because you have a room you just don't go and dump each and everything into that room okay there are certain ethics and there are certain rules and standards as to what needs to be put of course you can put any type of thing into your room similar to the data lake it's giving you the privilege of putting unstructured structured and semi structured data but doesn't mean you can put any data or all data into it whatever you, the organization really needs needs to be put there if that's happening there's another possibility that data swarms can occur so this was a little bit of an idea of what data swarms are so if you found this video helpful please do give this video a thumbs up if you want to know more about things like this or business analysis then you can subscribe to my channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you